Yo, what is going on my YouTube people? This is Gavin Assidy here again with you for another video and today I have a comparison video for you guys. I will be having a couple more of these very soon that you guys have requested but for today we're going to be comparing IQ's 552 Commando and Thermite's 556XI. Now this comparison video might be a little bit shorter because these weapons are almost copy and paste. They are so similar and sometimes hard to differentiate but I still think at the end of the day one of them is slightly better than the other so I figured we'll talk a little bit about that. This video will be mostly subjective and just kind of giving my opinion on which one I like better and maybe even talk about what attachments I like to use on these weapons but I will have some objective parts where I'm going to be talking about the weapon stats in game. So the first weapon that I'm going to kind of break down and talk about is Thermite's 556. Now looking at the actual in-game stats of this weapon, the damage is 46, the fire rate is 690 rounds per minute, the mobility sits at 40, and then it has a 30 round mag cap. If you include the one in the chamber, you have 31 rounds to shoot at your enemy. And then as for the recoil, I would say it's at the lower to moderate side. So my thoughts for this weapon is that it's a very solid assault rifle that can definitely get the job done. However, I would say that you mainly want to play at medium range with this gun because the fire rate is so slow at 690 rounds per minute. You are not going to be able to go up against something like the Super 90 or any of the other semi-auto shotguns in close quarters or even just the submachine guns that fire at a much faster rate. Stuff like the MP7, the 416 carbine, which only shoots slightly faster but at the end of the day you are going to be at a disadvantage i am going to say however you can use this gun in close range i have definitely gotten plenty of kills up close and personal with this gun and that comes down to the damage and that the gun is very hard hitting so it can take people out very quickly in close range but if an enemy shoots at you first in very close quarter situations you might not come out alive you know it comes down to balancing reasons if you're gonna have a gun this strong you're gonna have to lower the fire rate a bit and as for the recoil I would say it's extremely manageable on this weapon I liked using pretty much any sight that this game offers but by far my personal favorite would have to be the ACOG I felt like when you put that attachment on the 556 it's pretty much a headhunter you have no problem getting headshots and for some reason it feels easier if you aim about chest high the gun tends to kick up towards the head and overall it would just be my favorite attachment to put on this weapon the suppressor it is possible Possible. However, I would say you're much better off taking advantage of the high damage and leaving the suppressor off. When you get so used to this gun without a suppressor, as soon as you add it, it just kind of throws you off a bit and you are going to expect an enemy to die in a certain amount of bullets and sometimes they end up living because of the suppressor. But now we're going to shift over and talk about IQ's 552 Commando and it's almost like a copy and paste weapon like I said earlier. It has very identical stats to the 556. So taking a look at the in-game stats now, the damage for the Commando is at 47. So it is one point higher than the 556. The fire rate and the mobility and also the mag capacity is exactly the same. Another difference here would be the recoil. It is slightly higher and it has more unpredictability. There is more shots that will either go on the left or the right while the 556 has more of a vertical recoil. It's not as spread out. So that is also going to be a key difference when it comes to which gun that I like more. Again with this weapon I find that I can successfully use any of the sites available for this weapon. I do like using ACOG on it personally, but however, I think that in a general sense, you're probably better off using one of the other sites because the recoil is a little bit harder. And if you're not good at getting those headshots and aiming for the head, as soon as you miss that first shot, the recoil can definitely get away from you. So I would keep that in mind when thinking about which attachment to put on it. Pretty much the same thing when it comes to the suppressor on this weapon. I would prefer not to use it, but it is definitely a possibility. But now getting into the good stuff when it comes down to it at the end of the day, which gun do I like more? I'm going to have to give it to Thermite's 556. And for the most part, it is just the recoil that kind of makes it or breaks it. Like I said, earlier both of these weapons are almost exactly the same i will say with the commando at times i feel that it is a stronger weapon even though it only has one point higher in damage if you're facing somebody with one armor or somebody that's already taken a few shots i do have times where i feel like 
the Commando is slightly stronger, it has more stopping power, but in a general sense, that one point of damage isn't really going to make or break it. They feel like they have very similar time to kill, so... I'm going to have to give it to the 556 five, just because that recoil is a little bit more manageable. And when you put on the ACOG on the 556, five, you just get massive amounts of headshots because that recoil is very easy to manage. Or if you just aim chest high, the recoil pattern tends to shoot up towards the enemy's head. I don't know, it just feels like when the 556 five, has the ACOG on it, it has like a head magnet that just seems to always target the enemy's head. But with all that being said, that is going to end it here for my comparison of I IQ's 552 Commando and Thermite's 556. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please make sure you hit that like button. It definitely helps me out a lot, and I greatly, greatly appreciate the support. Leave any other comments you feel down below, and if you haven't already, please subscribe as usual. You guys have a good one. Peace.